my name is Quirino Mancini. I am uh, uh, an Italian um, lawyer based in London. I am the London resident partner of a general practice firm called Tonucci and Partners. And uh, uh, I have been in this um, industry for the last 20 plus years. Formerly, I used to be a sports and entertainment lawyer, and uh, I would say almost by default, I ended up uh, doing the things that I do. Um, over time, I've been uh, uh, weathering four different licensing uh, rounds in Italy, and um, I think I, I, I um, have been acting for most of the international operators that have since um, sought Italian market entry. Uh, I am now also carrying another hat, which is that of the uh, president of uh, um, an international association of gaming lawyers called uh, uh, IMGL, International Masters of Gaming Law. And uh, uh, it's a, a global, global network um, comprising more than 300 members, uh, not just lawyers, but also advisors, uh, regulators, um, operators and uh, um, providers uh, that cater to the, the, the gaming industry. And uh, uh, I'm very proud of it. I was one of the, the founding members of the, of the IMGL in uh, the year 2000. And that speaks volumes in terms of my seniority, but also my age. I would say that um, Italy is uh, uh, one of the, the uh, largest uh, gaming markets in Europe probably or possibly the largest if we combine the official numbers of the legal and licensed gaming business with those of the unofficial or uh, illegal um, uh, gaming um, numbers. Uh, altogether, these are uh, probably combined. Uh, these make the, the largest market in Europe or however, second only to the UK one. So, um, you know, International operators, particularly those uh, that are part of uh, large groups and consolidation uh, nowadays is, uh, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, something that is, uh, has been happening. And uh, so uh, most uh, international operators are part of large <coughs> groups uh, and most of those groups are listed. So um, for listed uh, companies, uh, gaming companies, um, being on the first, on all first tier regulated markets is, I would say, um, a must. Is uh, not just a matter of uh, making good money, but you have to be on that market. And Italy is definitely one of those markets. On top of that, I would say that even though it's uh, definitely a very crowded and competitive market, <clears throat> it still is also a very rewarding one. So um, uh, if any operator that has uh, deep pockets, um, <clears throat> very, uh, very good product and, uh, and a convincing business model. And when I say convincing business model, I mean a business model that takes into consideration the fact that um, in Italy you have a <clears throat> very, very uh, draconian um advertising ban in play, a gambling advertising ban in place. So you need to be able to play around it. If you tick all boxes, so deep pockets, uh, strong product, uh, um, uh, effective business model, you can still um, do um, well in Italy and you can still uh, um, gain some uh, um, interesting market share. But again, this is this was definitely the case until basically um, you know this year. Now this will be this year will be a turning uh, turning point uh, for Italy for the Italian market because the the Italian government is about to introduce a new uh, licensing regime, a new license tender with new rules, and uh, uh, they have uh, raised the bar very very high. Uh, suffice it to say that the um, licensing fee will amount to a staggering 7 million. Um, and if you bear in mind that the previous uh, round, which only took place uh, in 2018, so six years ago, the licensing fee was uh, 200,000. You can imagine uh, how, uh, you know, uh, potentially, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, 
impacting uh, this new um, uh, um, requirement will be. And by the way, it's not the only one. So there will be a number of operational requirements that will um, definitely um, reshape sub- deeply uh, from inside out the Italian gaming market and the players of that market. I would say that the, the mantra, uh, the, the untold mantra is fewer and better and bigger. Um, that is the mantra of the Italian government uh, and, um, and, and I believe uh, that is also their ultimate goal. Uh, they want to have uh, fewer operators, much bigger uh, and much easier to, to monitor and control. So we'll see. I mean, um, there are expectations. I'm still receiving inquiries from uh, from um, um, companies and, and, and operators that have not uh, up until now uh, been doing any business in Italy, but they are definitely looking at, at it as an opportunity. Again, it can be an opportunity, but you need to know exactly how to exploit that opportunity. It's not, it's not a small potato business anymore, assuming it ever was. Italy was at, uh, the, the pioneer uh, of uh, um, gaming regulations um, in Europe in, uh, uh, back in 20, 2006. It was the first, European, first year European country to consistently and coherently uh, regulate um, the gaming business, uh, introducing also um, a batch of uh, uh, pure online gaming licenses. That was t- 18 years ago. So um, when they did so, uh, up until that moment, the, the local market had been dominated by a triopoly, just three large um, Italian operators, purely Italian operators, and the rest was just uh, a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, uh, dot com, Italy facing dot com um, operators that were obviously illegal. Uh, when uh, in 2006 uh, the the government decided to liberalize and regulate uh, the market, they did so introducing also a number of uh, key elements. One was uh, switching from a turnover-based to a profit-based taxation, and that was uh, that was an important defining moment because. Um, uh, the, the, the switch of, uh, from a turnover to, to profit-based improved the margins for operators, thereby making it more attractive to, um, to come to Italy and, uh, and, uh, uh, and operate uh, under the scope of a locally granted license. But not just that, uh, they also decided to um, regulate all um, all, to- all type of games. So they did not do like other uh, European jurisdictions have since been doing, uh, cherry picking. Uh, let's let's regulate sports book. Let's legalize sports book, but let's not touch uh, online casinos or the other way around. Uh, Italy did uh, everything in one go. So they uh, they uh, overhauled uh, the sports book regulations, fresh sports book regulations. Um, uh, casino games, slot games, uh, eventually video lotteries, etc. So nowadays, I think um, the the um, there is not one uh, family of or type of games that is not consistently and completely regulated, which provides some certainty and stability to the ecosystem, and makes it uh, easier for an operator willing to do business in Italy to to understand what they can do and how they can do it. But not just that, uh, but the simple fact that they were at the forefront of uh, um, uh, gaming regulations and online gaming regulations in particular, meant that uh, the um, that Italy set a number of standards, uh, operational standards, um, service level standards, uh, customer protection standards, etc. And also the, uh, the the tax model, the the, the turnover versus profit based, uh, that was a standard as well. It was also a, a, a testing um, um, opportunity to for for other jurisdictions to see if uh, uh, that would uh, trigger um, a, a change in terms of uh, attracting more uh, more operators to any given jurisdiction. 
So the answer is yes, Italy did set a number of standards. Um, I think that, um, um, you know, if there is one business in which Italy has actually been a reference model for other jurisdictions, that is gaming. Um, so much so that uh, I perfectly recall in the, in the old days, um, my regulator being extremely busy uh, addressing inquiries from uh, the French regulators, the, the, the Spanish regulators, the Portuguese regulators, eventually other regulators who were all studying the Italian gaming model and drawing from it. And I'm not just um, implying, I'm not implying at all that uh, this is the best, uh, you know, uh, system in the world or nothing like that. I'm just saying that uh, um, uh, we, uh, we appreciate and, and everybody appreciated the big effort of Italy to, uh, you know, take um, the, uh, the, 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 the gaming uh, business as a whole and, uh, uh, you know, uh, address uh, every specific issue associated with running that business. They did so, they, probably or conceivably, they also did some mistakes, um, but that's part of the game. I think overall, not, still today, uh, this is a very, very, um, you know, uh, solid, very, uh, uh, very stable um, re regulatory model. Uh, it only remains to be seen how many um, um, applicants will uh, will uh, flock to Italy once uh, the, li the new license tender is called, the one that has a price tag of 7 million. But that's another story and we'll see when we get there.